In today's video, we are going to discuss about how we can move emails to folder using Power Automate. Let us say you are using Outlook and you want to send some emails uh, to another folder. Uh, let's say the emails you can filter based on the subject line or let's say you want to send emails to a folder which are received before let's say 15 days, 20 days. So this also you can do. Also, they popularly known as the archiving. So if you want to archive emails, uh, based on certain conditions, whether it is based on subject line or based on, you know, uh, from anyone sending uh, on the sender or based on the time. So anything you can do and I will show you step by step how we can do it. I have also written a complete tutorial on the same uh, where, uh, you know, I have explained all the formulas uh, based on the date. Uh, so you can, uh, you know, copy those formulas and use it. Also, you can send emails or save emails uh, to a SharePoint document library. I'll put the link in the video description where you can check that thing also. And if you want to learn SharePoint, then check out our uh, uh, complete SharePoint training course where you will get to learn about SharePoint, Power Platform, SPFX, everything. I'll put the link in the video description. And those, if you are new to the channel, subscribe to the channel so that you will get notification on the videos that I'll make on this Microsoft technologies. So now let us go to the system and I will show you step by step how we can create a flow that will move emails to a particular folder. Okay, now let us develop our flow which will send uh, the emails to a folder using Power Automate. So I'll just open my email. You can see here, this is my email. If you want to create a folder, you can create any folder here uh, by using this option. In this particular case, I'll try to move the uh, emails to the archive folder. So I'm not creating any new folder here. So I'll go to make.powerautomate.com. So what will happen here is uh, we can create a flow. Now, if you want to make this an automated process, like for example, you want this to be uh, regularly run it uh, so that it will take your emails and then it will, uh, you know, uh, put in the archive folder, you can create a schedule flow, like every day you can run it and then that will, uh, you know, send your emails to the folder. But for this particular example, I'll uh, click on this instant cloud flow so that, uh, you know, I'll click on that and I'll run and show that to you. Now you can see here, I'll give a name for it. I'll say uh, archive uh, emails flow, like suppose I'll give this one and then manually trigger this flow. And on this, uh, first what we will do here is, you can see here manually this will uh, trigger. So first action what we will use is uh, get emails. So get emails, uh, you know, V3 is there which we can use and on this, uh, you, you can see here, this is uh, the conditions that you can see here. Uh, if you want to only with attachment, you can say yes, no, um, you know, include attachments. If you want to do, you can do that. I'll click on show all so that you will see some other options also. And uh, on this, if you can see here, subject filter is there. Now on this, uh, you can see here, there's a subject line as text. I We will uh, see whether this is working or not. So I just put uh, the subject filter as text. So it will get all the emails uh, from that, from our email list. And then, uh, so next what we will do is, I will click on this, uh, this icon, add an action. And here uh, there is a uh, flow action is called a move email. Uh, you can see here uh, move email you can see here uh, move email v2 is there so this is basically the flow action which will move the emails whatever will get it from here to uh, to the folder like I'll uh, you can see here I will uh, take the uh, you know, message ID and the folder uh, like to which folder you want to move in this case if you see here I want to move it to the archive folder so i choose this one right so um and next what i will do here is i will save this flow and uh, i'll go back once the flow saved successfully i'll go back and uh, in the my flow you can see this okay so here you can see this is the archive email flow you can click on this uh, this icon to run this flow so you can see here it is then click on continue and then run the flow so now the flow will run and it will move the emails to the archive folder where the subject line is text if uh, 
you know you can see here flow uh, executed uh, successfully here and i'll go back here you can see in this inbox it is not there now let's go back to the archive folder now you can see here these three emails are there right so uh, you know this is how we can uh, um, you know send emails based on the subject line now there are other also let me just click on uh, edit and uh, i'll show you a couple of methods here for example you will get this formulas in the article that i was talking about so i'll put the link in the video description so that you can get this formulas in this if you'll see here if you want to get uh, or if you want to send the emails which are uh, received from last two days or from last two months there are different ways to uh, get it so get past time you can use uh, start of the month you can use so that from start month it will take the last two months uh, so this is basically that we have done here now on this uh, let's say i will put uh, you know let's say 20 days let me put that and uh, i we will try to you know use this formula so here get emails basically we are going to use it i don't think there will be a subject filter uh, uh, you know it is uh, required now and uh, but what we will uh, i'll click on show all and then there will be a filter criteria where you can uh, use here the source query so in the source query basically we need to write this formula so i will write here um, you can uh, in fact i can copy it so received is uh, is the parameter so that uh, it will filter on this i'm um, sorry so it will not take this way you can go to the function and you type it here so and then click on add so it will take this way right so now i will save this so so if you'll see here now this should not be inside this okay so uh, this should be fine okay so now i'll save this flow hopefully the error will not come okay so now you can see here the flow is saving and uh, this time what we'll do is uh, so which are uh, uh, emails basically which are uh, less than uh, 20 days so which are there this should go so let me just run the flow again so whatever the emails which are there less than 20 days it should go you can see here i run it and uh, it should show me you can see here it is running um, and you can see this is in the archive folder you can see all this so uh, you know this is how we can uh, we can do it uh, basically we can move or you can archive emails and if you want uh, this to be automated then you can create a schedule flow so that uh, you know you can uh, that that will trigger and then it will automatically move your emails to any folder whichever you want so if you want similar kind of videos then subscribe to our youtube channel so that you will get uh, you know a lot of uh, sharepoint related videos uh, power platform related videos in our channel and you will get notified into that so thank you and have a nice day